Is getting the PPP better than getting unemployment or the PUA? I don't know. Let's talk about it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jonathan Moore. I'm a photographer, filmmaker, and a creative entrepreneur, and I like to make videos like these for other photographers, filmmakers, and creative entrepreneurs who are trying to build a life on their terms and get it how they live. So if that sounds like something that you're into, feel free to check out some of the other videos I have on my channel about photography, filmmaking, and building a business on your terms. So today's video is just gonna be a quick one, and it's just a thought that I had circulating in my mind where right now it is the end of May and there is still money out there in the PPP program, okay? So for the round two, there's still money out there because a lot of people had got scared away. But now that they made some rule changes, that money might dry up pretty quickly. So here's my suggestion to any of my freelancers or independent contractors who might be thinking about applying for the PPP but not sure. You're thinking, should I get PPP or unemployment? This is my thoughts on the subject. So here's my short answer. Go with whatever program is offering you more money. Make sure that you include taxes, run your numbers, do your due diligence, okay? Because with some unemployment programs, I don't know, uh, here in New Jersey, you can have them take the taxes out of the state portion, but not of the PUA portion. So you will have to pay taxes on that come the end of the year. It's just something to keep in mind. So if the numbers are kind of close, you know, you want to figure out what you can get forgiven and what you can, you know, uh, or what you'll make on unemployment, which you're not going to have to pay back. Right. But you want to make it like where it's post tax or whatever, because depending on how you want your money, whether you want it spoon fed to you or whether you want it all at once is going to help you determine that decision. OK, so my question that I originally started off with is the PPP or the PUA, which is the unemployment assistance or the pandemic unemployment assistance. Now, in order to get this, you have to file through your states. Your states are going to, you know, you got to file an unemployment claim through your state. They're probably going to deny you, but then you'll get accepted and you'll be able to get the money, right? That's the way it works. For some reason, it should be easier, but it's not. My question is this, for those people who were sitting there and you're on the fence and you're not sure whether I should get the PPP or whether I should go with the PUA, my thing is this, are you still in business? Now, I feel like this question is important because if you can still generate income, if you can still go out and maybe get new business or if you can stay in business, my suggestion would be that you go with the PPP because there's no limits on the income that you can make. If you can still get business, if, you're, if, you, if your business can still bring in money, still bring in revenue, it might not have been what you were making before all of this stuff happened, but let's just say it's a decent amount, then maybe you should consider the PPP. And the reason I say that is, once again, because there's no limits on your income. Now, when it comes to the PUA, there's no rule saying that you can't make money. But if you get some type of gig and you can make you some money and it's, you know, worth your while, then you might as well go ahead, take that gig, make you some money. But if you're collecting unemployment, you're going to have to claim the money that you made, which could reduce your weekly benefits. Now, I know that it's like not a big deal, right? Or at least it doesn't seem like it's a big deal because it offsets, right? It's like, well, you make you some money, you tell unemployment, they don't give you as much. And, you know, but it's okay because you made some money in, in your business. One of the things I'm unclear on is when you claim how much money you make, if that only accept or if it only affects your state side and not the pandemic unemployment assistance side. I'm not sure on that just yet. But regardless, if you make some money off of a gig and you're collecting unemployment, you're supposed to claim that you made some money, which is going to reduce your unemployment benefits now if it's a one-time deal here and there not a big deal right but what happens if you can keep making money consistently well now you're on unemployment right and every time you make money they're reducing the amount of money that they're paying out to you right which might you know mess up your initial calculations where you might have been assuming that you weren't going to be generating any type of income but with the ppp you can still generate as much, essentially, unlimited income, and you can still get the loan amount 
forgiven. If you're a sole proprietor, I did a video on the calculation on how to get that loan amount uh, forgiven. I'll be doing another video following up going through the application process. But the main point is, is that you can continue to make money. You can maybe make more than you made before all of this stuff happens and you can still get the loan forgiven. So what I'm saying is, is that even though it's, you know, it's speculative, right? You don't know what's going to happen in the future. What could happen is that you're potentially walking away from a chunk of money that you could possibly use right now to get you up and rolling. All right. And maybe to even do a few things to bring some money into the door. All right. Or you can choose to go on to unemployment and get spoon fed. And then you can still continue to make money and have some gigs coming in. But depending on your state, that can wipe out whether you get any benefits that week or, you know, the at least from the state. I'm not sure about the federal side, but at least from the state side, that's definitely going to reduce how much money you make, depending on the amount that you make. Let's be clear. But it's going to reduce how much you make and it's going to kind of mess up those initial calculations that you had. So it's like you're almost kind of. You know, by not taking the PPP, you're leaving money on the table. But once again, like I said, you have to figure out whatever program works best for you. That's the program that you want to go with. If PUA is going to pay you more than a PPP would, you need to go with the PUA, hands down. But if they're neck and neck, you know, that's up to you. You want your money spoon fed or do you want it all at once? It's, that's your choice. All right. And if, you know, whatever, you know, PPP is more then you know, obviously go with the PPP because you can get it forgiven. So that's it for me today, guys. That's just a thought that I had in my mind. You know, if you were maybe still on the fence and you were debating whether you should go with the PPP, whether you should go with unemployment, you know, it's going to be up to you. But like I said, if you can still make some money and bring it into the door, the PPP might be the right way to go because there's no income. You know, there's no cap on how much you can make. Whereas with PUA, you know, you might get your state side reduced. Not sure about this federal, but your state side, you might get reduced depending on how much you make during that week that you are claiming. So hopefully you found this video useful. If so, please give me a like. Good luck to all you guys out there who are either going for the PPP or you finally got your unemployment, whatever it is. We're trying to get this money any way they're going to give it to us. And uh, for all my people out there who are trying to build a life on their terms and get it how they live, this is your man, Jonathan Moore, and I'm signing out. Peace.